Hey guys, my name is Sherin. In this session, we will discuss about the fundamentals of software testing. So let's get started with the importance of software testing. You know what a software is, right? It's a set of instruction or a program which tells computer to do some tasks. People use software everywhere to do the tasks efficiently. In all the domains like banking, healthcare, insurance, media and entertainment, everywhere software is used. Some examples are in banking domain, core banking software are used to perform financial and non-financial transactions. In healthcare, patient administration system software are there, hospital management software are there. So, everyone expects an output from a software and that output should be correct. Software which is not performing as expected can lead to many problems, which can be loss of reputation, loss of business, life threat to human being, etc. Okay, let's see some examples of software failure. This is Mo. He decides to buy a new mobile phone. He chooses to buy it from a famous online shopping website. After visiting the website, he notices that the company website has some spelling mistakes in the text. So he decides to put off the company app it looks unprofessional. So the online shopping website chain has lost the customer because of the minor software defects. Let's see another example. This is Joe. He is going to the bank ABC for depositing 1000 bucks. The bank agent John uses a core banking product for the deposit transaction. But the transaction is failing because of a software defect. He tried multiple times but the transaction is failing. This affects the bank in many ways. It blocks its operation, loss of money, reputation, etc. Okay, let's discuss about why software fails to work. Human beings are fallible and they make mistakes when they design or code the programs. The reasons for the mistakes can be many. They may be working under tremendous pressure to complete the work on time, or they may be working on complex business process, or the person who is working on the project can be inexperienced. A mistake in a software is a defect and defect can cause the failure of the system. So we can put it in this way. Mistakes by human, defect in the core, failure of the system. Defect can arise at any point of the software development life cycle. The different stages of the software development life cycle are requirement analysis, design, coding or implementation, testing, deployment and maintenance. It's always better to find the defect as early as possible. The reason is, cost of fixing the defect increases with the time it is detected. Okay, we are seeing the importance of software testing and why software fails to work. Let's see what is software testing. Testing is a process rather than a single activity. It consists of planning, reviewing, designing, testing, firing defects, etc. During planning phase, a test plan is prepared, which will have the details about how the testing should be carried out. During review phase, the requirements would be reviewed and that would be the base for writing the test cases. Test scenarios and test cases are prepared during the design phase and testing on the application would be based on this. During testing phase, testers run the software and they verify the system. Testers find the defect and they log in the system. Developers resolve the issue. This process would be continued until they gain confidence in the system. So the objectives of testing are find defect gain confidence and provide information about the level of quality of software, prevent defects. The role of testing is to increase the quality of software. Testing can be stopped when the project budget is over or project timeline is over or the defect rate is less. Okay, let's discuss about the principles of software testing. There are seven principles for software testing. We will discuss one by one. The first principle is Early testing. Early detection of defects reduces the risk of failing the system at a later point of time. We discussed about this earlier. The cost of fixing the defects at early stage is less. This can be performed by reviewing the requirements and test cases. During the course of the software development, developers also perform testing to find out issues and this helps in improving the quality. The second principle is testing shows presence of defects. Testing can show defects are present but it doesn't mean the software is defect free. Testing helps to discover many defects as possible. The third principle is exhaustive testing is impossible. 
test everything is not possible except trivial cases instead testing should be focused and prioritized the fourth principle is defect cluster defect tend to cluster this occurs as an area of effort can be particularly complex and tricky focusing test on these hot spots helps in unearthing defects at early stage itself the first principle is pesticide paradox if the same test conditions are repeated over and over again eventually the same set of test cases no longer finds any new bug to or from this pesticide paradox focus of testing should always change and new test cases should be created the next principle is testing is context dependent testing is performed differently in various contexts example a core banking software is tested differently from an e-commerce website testing the final principle is absence of error policy finding and fixing the defect doesn't help if the software is not built according to the specification these are the seven principles of software testing okay let's get into the final topic of this session who can perform software testing developer of the software can perform the testing mostly they will be concentrating on component testing which tests the components of the program the peers of the developer within the development team can perform the testing so it's easy to find out the fault in the code if it is tested by someone other than the developer independent testing unit from the same development organization can also perform the testing as it is tested by an independent unit the chances of finding more defects would be very high also a testing unit from a different organization can do the testing since it's a different organization the competition would be very high to find out this and to impress the customer to summarize in this session we have seen fundamentals of software testing we have covered importance of software testing the causes of defect what is software testing when we should stop software testing what are the seven principles of software testing and who can perform software testing hope this session helps everyone to understand about the basics of software testing i'll be coming up with more videos on software testing please keep an eye on it if this video helps you then please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel that's all folks this is sharin signing off thank you